what I wanted to do was um, build three um, versions of the same space and make them as similar as I possibly could, specifically to get at the differences between what it's like to work in a virtual space and what it's like to um, work in a space that you can actually enter in the physical world and what it's like to manipulate a model. The idea is that on the screen, um, all you see are the surfaces, so that until you actually move something, you don't know which thing on the screen is, belongs to which version. For instance, if I walk over here, if I decide I want to move the uh, yellow couch that's up there, and I walk over here, where I think the yellow couch is, but there's no yellow couch over here, um, because that's not in the same universe. I mean, I think there's something a little bit, um, well, obviously, there's something a little bit ridiculous about virtual spaces. Um, there's something a little bit um, overblown about the rhetoric about virtual spaces at times. So, I mean, I wanted to take, I wanted to take them at their word in a way, you know, almost to um, say, well, if this is what a virtual space is like, you know, let's bring it into the real world. Um, and see what happens. I personally, when I'm looking at this, I would think, oh, this is completely unrealistic because you don't have square pillows. It looks, in the context of a very simple, blocky world that's made out of just a few polygons, that pillow looks perfectly reasonable. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, it wouldn't be the one thing that I would sort of notice here as wrong, right? Now, but of course, the minute you get into something in the real world, that pillow is totally wrong. Absolutely. Right? And the, the interesting thing is that in some ways this form is exactly the same as that form, right? But the difference is that you're in the same space with this. This stuff is physical and it's kind of unavoidable in that way. So that a square pillow like that is, you know, I mean, it's just much easier to picture yourself going and trying to lie down and take a nap I here. Did. Now, the bed's too short, too, you know. Um, I mean, this is just not comfortable. No. Not in the least. Um, but there's a lot of other problems with the furniture. I mean, okay, I designed the furniture first on the computer, right? And I didn't really, I didn't take it seriously in the sense that I didn't make it, of course I didn't make it ergonomically correct or the right, you know. But I thought I was making it roughly the right size. Now the reason thing is, that this on the computer, and I thought, you know, I had a sense of what the scale, the units that I was using. On the computer, this chair looked just fine. Okay. Now, on the computer, the, the interesting thing is that on the computer, and again, this is like the pillow on the bed. If you look at the chair on the computer, you might notice that it's a little oversized for the rest of the furniture. But it's not something that really hits you, you know, hits you right in the face. But of course, the minute you come here and sit on the chair, you know, you feel like you're six years old, right? And I thought the chair was right because I thought, okay, I'm designing a desk, I'm designing a chair, and of course, when you sit on a chair at a desk, the chair has to fit into the desk, like, which it does. But the problem is there's no room for your legs. <laughs> the promise I'm making is that you can experience this world um, three times in some way, and that those three times can be confused with each other when you think back and remember them. So that in, in the end, when you think about what your experience of this piece is and what, the, what that, that space is on the screen, in some way, it is disorienting or confusing enough that you might remember being inside the computer or inside the model, or you might remember picking up the furniture in the big model and you know, seeing the big model from above being able to rotate the big model as though the whole thing spun in space. I mean, all of those kinds of confusions where the, the, the things that you can do in one version that you can't do in another might be confused. To me, that's, um, I know it's sort of prosaic next to the idea that you'd be able to fly around in a virtual world or something. But to me, the fact that it's so tangible, the fact that you actually do get to kind of do those things, even if each one of them is completely ordinary in some way, the fact that they're all put together makes for a kind of experience that, you know, there's maybe the potential that when you think about the experience later, you might remember something happening that's much less prosaic than that.